I need my self-confidence, Watson. I may, must be able to trust my instinct or what have I left? Your intellect. For this sleuth living on Baker Street, everything is always elementary. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Sherlock Holmes portrayals in film and television. We are dealing with a very clever man, but he has made one mistake. The cat man may remember him. Exactly. Number 10, Nicholas Rowe, Young Sherlock Holmes. By the way, what's your name? Holmes. Sherlock Holmes. Kicking off our list is the young star of this Steven Spielberg movie, whose portrayal is unique since it showcases the sleuth's journey to become the icon we all know. The deductive mind never rests, Watson. It's not unlike a finely tuned musical instrument. It demands attention and practice. Seeing as Roe got to take on a formative version of the character on his very first case, his sleuth is a misfit that is socially awkward due to his intelligence, but at the same time, he's definitely not lacking confidence. Number 9, Michael Caine, Without a Clue. I created the character of Sherlock Holmes. Oh my god. Not that speech again. Thought a young Sherlock Holmes was unique and memorable? Well, Caine makes the list for his own distinct take on the character. I accept this case. My fee will be 500 pounds. In this comedy, he plays an actor hired by Watson to become the super sleuth so he can work incognito in the background to solve the crimes. I have been able to deduce the identity of the fiend who pinched you. Me! <laughs> I did it again! Of course, Kane's charm and magnetism gives way, and eventually, he rises to the challenges thrown his way. Number 8. Christopher Plummer, Silver Blaze and Murder by Decree. Show them up, old fellow. We can make an exception in an emergency. Next up is a Canadian depiction of Holmes that is more in line with expectations, since he's the right age and has a keen intellect. Watson, this knife surely is in your line. Aside from his strong presence and subtle undertones, Plummer also makes sure his version of the sleuth is much more human and in tune with his emotions than most others we've seen. I accuse a man who has no place in this world or the next. You accuse? But it is proof we need, Mr. Holmes. Number seven, Tom Baker, the Hound of the Baskervilles. Ask of Sherlock Holmes, the specialist in crime. This actor is most famous for his portrayal of Doctor Who. However, he's also notable for his depiction of Holmes in this four-part serial adaptation. Perfectly sound. While Baker felt that he failed to deliver, Sherlock buffs have always disagreed citing his interpretation as memorable due to the natural eccentricity and charisma that came with him from his years as the doctor. So, in place of your grave middle-aged practitioner, my dear Watson, there emerges a young fellow under 30, unambitious, absent-minded, and the possessor of a favorite dog. Number six, Robert Downey Jr., the Sherlock Holmes series. My mind rebels at stagnation. Give me problems, give me work. While this portrayal by the Iron Man himself takes place in the 19th century, it feels especially modern. That's thanks to Downey's recasting of Holmes as not only a wild eccentric, but also as a mischievous, fist-throwing action star who can methodically think about his exact moves in bullet-fast time. Dislocate your entirely. Heel kick to diaphragm. In summary, ears ringing, jaw fractured, three ribs cracked, four broken, Diaphragm hemorrhaging. Physical recovery, six weeks. Full psychological recovery, six months. As most critics will attest, no one believed Downey could pull it off, but thankfully, he proved them wrong. Trust me, I'm a professional. But beneath this pillow lies the key to my release. <gasps> of course, she misinterpreted my intention entirely. Number five, Peter Cushing, the Hound of the Baskervilles and Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's Sherlock Holmes. Interesting, interesting. The elementary. Playing the part in both a film and a 16-episode BBC series, Cushing gave a high-caliber performance, which is considered one of his best. How would you mind sorting out a large-scale method dartmoor, my dear fellow, while I find some more tobacco? This, I think, is a two-pipe problem. Incredibly enjoyable and engrossing to watch, this powerful portrayal was punctuated by his unique charm. Forgive me if my dramatic entrance startled you. What gave Cushing an edge was the fact that he was an aficionado of the character, and he brought his literary knowledge with him to the set. 
Why have you come to me, Dr. Mortimer, when you really don't believe that I can help you? Number four, Vasily Livanov, The Hound of the Baskervilles, and The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson. Who knew that a Russian could have given one of the finest portrayals of the English sleuth? Здравствуйте, Watson. Здравствуйте, друг мой. Not only did this actor portray Holmes as a highly refined intellectual, he also threw in some warm wisdom and a sense of humor for good measure. Of course, this common inspiring take may have been influenced by the fact that Russian censorship removed any mention of Holmes' reliance on drugs. Watson, I'm alive. I'm alive. Stay with me, Number three, Benedict Cumberbatch, Sherlock. Want to see some more? Oh, God, yes. Unique on our list is this Sherlock Holmes portrayal that's designed for the 21st century, placing him in present-day London. Freeing the character from the traditions and restrictions of most incarnations, Cumberbatch's Sherlock alternates between stillness and furious bursts of activity. We got ourselves a serial killer. I love those. There's always something to look forward to. And the viewer always sees the wheels of observation and calculation moving. This portrayal is also noteworthy for Holmes' inability to deal with life outside work. Good evening, Mycroft. Try not to start a war before I get home. You know what it does with the traffic. Number two, Basil Rathbone, Various. Gentlemen, in the interest of democratic government, I shall be happy to do my utmost to see that His Majesty reaches Rovinia in safety. This is the man who many critics argue has become the benchmark for any actor attempting to play Sherlock Holmes on screen. Of course, that's partially because he got the look right. His deerstalker and cape outfit has managed to stay with the character for generations. As I suspected, old fellow, our enemies acted promptly and ruthlessly. Appearing in over a dozen Sherlock Holmes adventures, Rathbone popularly portrayed him as an energetic and omniscient sleuth that was more than a man. Brunette, young, beautiful. Well, I'm going to fit you all right, but how do you know? Brunettes and I pay sufficient credit to your good taste. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Have I changed quickly into clothes that are both uh, warmer and a little less conspicuous? I never stop work, Watson, but occasionally work stops me. Number one, Jeremy Brett, Various. It is a considerable challenge. I shall work better for silence. Taking the top spot on our list is the man considered the definitive Sherlock Holmes. It helps that he spent the most time solving screen crimes, appearing as the sleuth in 41 stories. Stop that horse! Brett is notable for his wit and mannerisms, which made his Holmes especially compelling. The fact that he was bipolar in real life only heightened his already mesmerizing performance, down to his sudden manic outbursts. Give me problems. Give me work. Give me the most abstruse cryptogram, the most intricate analysis, and I'm in my proper atmosphere. Do you agree with our list? Which interpretation of Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's detective is your favorite? For more logical top tens published daily, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Holmes. Oh, good afternoon.